Okay, well, while we wait for Courtney, Alex, do you want to go ahead and share your updates? I can take notes. Yeah, sure. So um, I have a few updates. Uh, I'm looking to start editing the project um, later this week. Um, I have a few big projects I want to try to get out of the way uh, so I have time to actually do it. Uh, but we're looking at this week and starting it. We have pretty much everything we need. I might go out and get some more footage, but um, that's pretty much it. My intern's going to be, st we're still working on the voiceover for my intern. We just started it. Um, changes m will be made to the um, to the script that Di Diana uh, wrote just so it could be easily read and, um, on screen. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to make any major um, we're not going to change facts or anything. It's just going to be just we're making it easier to read on screen. That's all for that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it besides um, we're ready to get this on uh, get this edited uh, starting to edit this week. Great, thank you. Uh, Courtney, to see all you missed was that Alex is going to start um, editing the video this week. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Alex. Yep, you got it. And we'll not be done before uh, town meeting, unfortunately, Courtney. But that's okay. Um, no problem. We'll get we'll get something um, done okay. for sure by the summer. I'm hoping, hopefully before. Okay, that sounds good. We also um, have the I can't remember if we talked about this at a meeting, but we have a uh, 360 degree um, uh, virtual tour of the school that is mm -hmm. finalized, so we can always. Um, do that instead. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, do you guys have any questions for me or any uh, other projects you guys are looking to do in the future at some point that we could uh, be helpful with? Uh, I think right now we're just trying to finish up the projects we've applied for CPA and then we will think about other possibilities. Okay, fair enough. All well, right. Thank you so much. Take, you got it. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Now that we have a quorum, let's go back and approve the minutes. Oh, excuse me. We need to take a roll call attendance vote. I did not do that yet. Uh, Denise Barstow Mans. Present. Courtney Meyer. Present. Sharon Parsons. Here. Diana West. Here. Judy Stone told me she was not able to attend, and I did not hear from Adriana Sarzewski. Okay, the minutes for March 21st, 2023 were distributed uh, with the agenda prior to the meeting. Thank you to Courtney for taking those. Were there any additions or corrections that need to be made? I didn't see any. Perfect. All right, do I have a motion to accept? So moved. Great. Second. Uh, second. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right. All those in favor, roll call vote. Denise. Aye. Courtney. Aye. Jerry. Aye. And I, Diana West, as well. Motion carried. Thank you very much. Um, was there any other comments we needed to make about the Russell School video? I know we Alex isn't here, but just double checking if anybody... Thought of something in the last two minutes. Okay, so moving on to the preparation for the forum on April 27th and the annual town meeting on May 4th. So I put together a document that was mainly just talking points I had prepared for the select board meeting. And I pulled out some things from the CK application as well. Um, to just have ready to go for when people might ask questions um, and also to just reference when we make our short presentation. I think we have like three or four slides at the forum. And then um, based on how the forum goes, then I'll write up something a little bit more formal that I will say at town meeting. And I can send this document around so you guys can have 
um, some time on your own to read it. But was there anything that we had ideas about that we definitely need to highlight and share? The only thing that, that comes to my mind is, is a CPA request that we think about some of the indigenous peoples at some point in time, if, if that comes up. Yep, I, so I have that as a, a talking point, should it be asked of mm -hmm. us. Um, I don't want to bring it up myself because I don't want to necessarily highlight our failings, if you will, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. or um, an omission. So, but I, I have a response to that and I can read it one second. That's for the signs specifically, right? Yes. Um, so the hypothetical question I posted to myself, we have noticed that the signs don't focus too much on native history or history from below. Have you considered adding a fifth sign? And this is just a um, possible response. We perceive that this is the beginning of hopefully a larger project that would involve more public history in the form of signs, walking tours, and audio tours. While that history is highlighted in the driving tour, you are right in saying that more information could be included on the sign. We are not opposed to adding an additional sign that would highlight those histories, but that will probably be another project down the road. We would need to ensure that we were accurately representing those voices, do a study on appropriate locations, and get the appropriate approvals. We are hoping that the audio driving tour will fill in more of those gaps and provide a wider picture of the history of Hadley. By being in a digital format, we can constantly add new information and regularly update it. 10 out of 10. Thank you. <laughs> so I've got that one. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm ready to address the bylaws if I have to. I'm ready to address um, if somebody doesn't think this qualifies for CPA funding. Um, I just have general information about each, the three projects that I pulled directly from the CPA application. Um, why have signs at all? Some information about that. I mentioned um, hopefully encouraging people to stick around and have the more and spend money at local businesses, increasing uh, cultural tourism, and um, just the background of mainly the signs and sort of all the stuff we went through to get them ready to go. Did you uh, connect with the building commissioner? Yes. So I sent an email to, I believe uh, she's an like an admin assistant and she said that um, once we get to the point where we are applying for a permit, that she can help us through that application process. And, um, but like they don't come into it until like we're ready to apply. I thought they needed to weigh in on the locations. I guess not until the okay. application process. Okay, that's great. That's what I understood. And um, I think when it comes down to the final locations, then we will, of course, be working with the building commissioner's office and the DPW just to make sure that um, where we put them in the ground uh, does ultimately work. Because right now we've been working off of some slightly small images to try to understand exactly where they're going. So um, I think they will be valuable resources in those when we're ready to put them in the ground. I can't remember if the installation cost is included in our um, application. So um, I believe the estimate is originally for somewhere around $7,000 and that was not installation. So I rounded up to 10,000 okay. to consider inflation costs and installation. Uh, I know we had Dan say at one point that he could help us with that. I'm not sure if that offer still stands. Right. All right. So Denise, you think we might get um, 
questions about the locations and making sure we've spoken with the appropriate departments, right? Uh, no, I just thought that like we had to talk planning board, select board and building commissioner. I don't think that people are gonna have much pushback on the locations. Yeah. One, one of the things that occurred to me when you were talking about um, putting our history out there is that Northampton and Amherst seem to hog the highlights, if the, the limelight rather, if you will. And this gives us a chance to show that our history is as important as, as theirs are. Um, Very good point. Okay. Any other ideas, thoughts? Did you get any guidance in terms of how much time you have to present at the public forum and town meeting? No. Okay. Um, I think, so I sent, so I sent all the information about the science to Jennifer to share with the select board. And so I said she could pull from that to create slides for the forum. And then I sent her um, the walking tour cover, and then I sent her some bullet points about the audio driving, driving audio tour. And so I think we'll have like three to four slides. So, I mean, I probably think maximum 10 minutes. Um, yeah, I like feel like you, generous. <laughs> yeah, usually at these things, it's like one minute and then people ask questions. Okay. Okay. Um, and then with the forum, is, it, it was my understanding that you're supposed to just present and not answer questions. Is that? Oh, well, there, so you can, people can ask questions at the forum, but they can't give any opinions like, oh, I'm in favor of this. Or like, I think this is stupid. They're just like, okay. well, where are the signs going to go or whatever question they have so that they can be informed voters in the next week. Okay. And there's a moderator there at the forum. Yes. <laughs> okay. There think. has to be. Yeah. Um, probably to shut things down, like support and stuff like that. I would think. So I was I was originally responding to I think maximum ten minutes at the forum, but maybe that's generous. Like maybe more like five. Probably at town meeting, I'm gonna get like one or two minutes to give a little spiel. Um. That about our three projects so I can pare down what I have right here. I could time myself reading it and see how long it takes me. Um, like nobody's asked me to prepare slides or materials for town meeting. It was just for the forum. Oh, I think I think they use the same PowerPoint at the forum or at the town meeting that they use. Oh, that the makes forum. sense. And yeah, then I, okay. I also would say that 10 minutes is very generous for the forum. I think it's going to be okay. like yeah, super brief. I've seen it where they don't even, nobody presents because nobody's there and they're just like, okay, next. Yeah. Okay. And it went so rapidly past select board too. I mean, if you blinked, it was done. Oh my God. I couldn't, you guys, I was so prepared. <laughs> like I had all my yeah. notes. I was ready I, to make amazing. my case. And then they're like, okay, bye. And I was like, oh. Your face was hilarious. You're like, oh, okay. <laughs> I had my notes with me too, just in case. So <laughs> also like, I know I like mentioned this in the email, but like Jennifer originally told me not to even sign on until seven o'clock. And so I was like, you know, I'll just sign on just in case. And then I'm like doing housework and they're like, oh yeah. So we got rid of like half the agenda and you guys are like <laughs> next. And I was like, oh snap, I'm not ready for that. Yeah, like, I'm at, like I finally sit down and I'm like out of breath. So I'm like running around trying to get ready. And then they're like, go. And I'm like, oh. And I went and it was that, and I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have notified you because I was there at five after six. So I knew that um, they had cut half the ad agenda out at that point. Yeah, that, that wasn't clear on the computer end of it, but that's okay. Like I made it happen. 
hopefully I looked professional and um, no problems. Um, hopefully down the road, we don't run into problems, but um, we'll be ready for that. I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. They had an executive session they needed to go into about mm -hmm. something. And they, that's, I think why they cut the agenda out. I don't, didn't pay attention to what time meeting at home, but. I see. All right. Well, uh, is there anything else we need to talk about? Of course, if you guys come up with any ideas, feel free to um, send me an email with anything. I was. I, the forum. Oh, oh, this isn't for the forum. I, oh, I was. Jumping in. Oh. New business. I, I just been thinking down the road that um, from a couple of comments that have been said to me that people are focusing on um, reparations, but they're not focusing on what ha what was done. And Hadley was a really staunch abolitionist community. And I think that to have that history out there will probably be important down the road um, instead of just being a kind of slammed as a, a community where a minister had a slave and that was a bad thing that, that to put out how how much involved our community was in the abolitionist movement um there, there's a lot of primary source stuff um from the porterhouse documents um about that that i have read so somewhere down the road i think i would like to take that on as a project not as a defense so much as just to say, you know, we're, it, I don't even know how to put it, but we weren't just on that side of, of allowing slavery. We were also very staunchly on the other side as well, mm -hmm. way back. Okay. Well, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. um, a question about the signs that might come up is um, like, how often will they need to be replaced? Um, do we have information on um, the like how hardy yeah, these signs are and like with fading and all that. I have some samples. I think one of them is what we are going to use. I can bring it. Sure, yeah. But I don't know I, the answer to how long the last. I could reach out to name Linda. I could reach out to the people at Fossil Graphics and okay. ask them. Okay. I can't remember if it was like part of the quote, if it said how long they last or. I could go back and look at the materials we have. I, I remember that this design was optimal because it didn't weather as fast as more of a, um, like a tabletop design because it wasn't getting directly like rained on or snowed on. Right. Um, and it was also told to me that this was like a very high end product that yeah. um, was very specialized and um, that implied to me that it was long lasting. That was not specifically said. Right. But let me reach out to people at Fossil Graphics. And ask. Yeah, I think it would be good to have a number of years so folks know. And you had brought up one time um, cleaning the signs if vandalized. Somebody did, I'm not sure if I did. You had put a note on something I had. Maybe. <laughs> well, insurance, if it's, yeah, the town has insurance and I would just, they're on town property. But beyond that, I think that you're more likely to have one get hit by a car. And in that case, the car owner's insurance would, would pay for it. Let's just hope that doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> you don't live on my street, Diana. <laughs> I and people go down my street really fast. No, oh, I know. not a lot of accidents, I guess. Four way stops are hard, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any other thoughts? Well, once they're installed on the ground, they become town property because we're a town committee. Yes, I mean, I think they're 
the town property as soon as we pay for them. <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. Um, Which might also would, bring the question who's going to keep the grass and stuff down around them. So when I asked the DPW director about that, like, because I asked about um, lawn mowing and optimal locations for that. And he's like, well, we'll with any sign, we have to bring in like a weed whacker around it to get those close areas. So it sounds to me like they're prepared to continue to upkeep the areas that the signs would be on. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think as a courtesy, it probably falls to us to make sure that they're clean if like we get vandalism or I don't know about bird poop, but, um, or we can talk to DPW about that as well. I'm not sure of like how exactly that would work. But um, I think that could just be a, a courtesy that we have for ourselves. Also like a good act of faith to the town that this isn't a, a burden of any kind to be put on them. Well, they must send a truck out once and every once in a while to do all the signs then. Probably. I don't know how it like works with all the road signs. <laughs> Cause I'm sure they get pooped on by birds quite a bit. Okay. So, I've heard grumblings about changes to the Russell School warrants on the for town meeting. Mm -hmm. So what is going on with that? <laughs> um, so at the last uh, select board meeting, I think um, Carolyn presented Article 18, which was to um, get funding out of the town's budget for completing a feasibility study. Uh, it was $30,000. Um, and the stipulation with that is that the feasibility study would need to be completed before any further money is put into the Russell School. Article 19 is our CPA application for the stabilization. Um, so, uh, the Russell School Committee met a few days ago and discussed this, and um, we decided that we are not uh, in support of Article 18 as it currently stands um, because we think it'll prevent Article 19 from passing. Um, and feasibility studies are only good for 365 days, and we've already gotten feasibility studies done. Um, we just feel like it's once again kicking the can down the road. Um, we will, however, support it if they're just seeking a feasibility study on its own without any stipulations for stabilization. So tomorrow, um, they are, it, it's one of the first things on the agenda at the select board meeting. So I will be there um, to learn more. Okay. Is there a threat that the CPA article for Russell School will be pulled from the agenda overall? Not pulled from the agenda, but tabled, I, th I think is what they suggested when I was at the meeting. Tabled for fall? I assume so. Or whenever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tabled until the feasibility study is done is yeah. what I'm guessing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they wanted to put 18 before 19, because technically that warrant article came in before the feasibility study warrant article came in. So they've shuffled the warrant articles to put that feasibility study one before the, the hooker school one. Yeah, and we weren't, um, uh, the Russell School Committee was not informed that this was happening. Um, we just happened to be looking at the agenda um, and so showed up and found out. Um, I made a couple phone calls and emails in advance to find out 
what was going on with the warrant and did not get a response. Um, so um, I can't remember if I share this with you guys, but um, I expressed my concern about lack of communication with the Russell School Committee um, and uh, Joyce uh, was upset about it. She said I was stating a false um, and then they muted me. So <laughs> it did not go great. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm just continuing to try to make sure that we're informed on such discussions. Uh, Mary Thayer did reach out to me yesterday or this morning to let me know that we're on the agenda for tomorrow. On the select board agenda. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, oh, yeah, guess, so we're, we're, we're nervous. Yeah. I guess we need to see how tomorrow goes. Yeah. And then um, please share with us mm -hmm. um, what your thoughts are or how we can support you at town meeting. Thank you. And are how you, we can continue to support you guys. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Are you going live to the meeting or are you going virtually? I was planning on going virtually, but I don't want to be muted, so I'm um, going to try to attend in person. Yeah. Do you want support? I mean, any support would be would be great. I'm not sure if um, any of my other committee members are able to come. Um, I think Carolyn Holstein's coming, but I'm not entirely sure. She's she if she does come, she'll be on Zoom. So, if my life holds together, I'll try to get to the select board meeting tomorrow. Thank too. you. Thank you. Not that I'm on, not that I'm on your committee, but still. Moral sure. supports. Thank you. Does it start at six again? Yes. Okay. It I actually starts before that. They have open time for communicating, for asking questions, etc. That's really frustrating because when I logged in last week, that time was listed as being after the joint meeting with the finance committee. And then they did it first thing and then launched into the meeting and they didn't mm -hmm. follow the agenda. And I thought that was frustrating because if I was there for that portion, I would think that I had a couple minutes before it was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. I have literally never seen them stick to the written agenda. It's like, it always changes. Something is out of order every time. That's interesting because I think that's violation of open meeting law. Mm -hmm. And- <laughs> If you if you want to change the agenda, I'm pretty confident you have to take a vote of the members. Well, I think I mean they probably do take a vote. Yeah. yeah. Try and even find their agenda on the town website. I mean, I have tried to find that agenda and it's so well hidden into whatever file they put it into that it's impossible to find it. I always use the calendar that they have. Mm-hmm and click on the date of the meeting. Cause yeah, otherwise it's a labyrinth of yeah. nonsense. Okay. So anything else we need to discuss tonight? Um, our next meeting will be scheduled for May 16th. That still works for people. Um, mm -hmm. May is an interesting month. There's oh May sixteenth. Five Tuesdays in May. There's something on May sixteenth. I can't be here there on on May sixteenth. Okay. Would we prefer May twenty third? I'm open both days. The twenty third is wide open, so. And that's election day too, by the way, May 16th. Okay, so maybe we should just push it to the 23rd. What are we voting on? I'm sorry to be not in the lead. The, the um, new town officials. Oh yeah, we moved it. I remember this. Okay. We moved it to after town meeting because when they had it before town meeting, the, the new people on the select board hadn't even been on the select board when the items on the warrant were being discussed. So it was, it was kind of fast awkward. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, so we'll just do the 23rd then. Okay. Right. Great. Okay, well, thank you everyone. Um, if you think of anything that um, we might get asked at the forum or at town meeting, just feel free to share with the group. Mm -hmm. And if you're able to make the forum, great. But if not, don't worry about it. Um, I will actually be there in person and I'll be at town meeting as well. Great. I'll be at both as well. Okay, great. All right. Thank you all for all you do. I'm to adjourn. Excellent. Oh, thank yes. you, Sherry. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.